Welcome back to Making Sense, the program is designed to offer an analysis of news. And in this week's edition, we are going to talk about uh, the military coup in Myanmar. Yes. So, uh, last week, uh, Myanmar military has detained uh, de facto leader Aung San Suu Kyi and other members of her NLD party and declared a state of emergency for a year and mm -hmm. warned that her party mm -hmm. lands like uh, election results in November last year. And uh, the 2008 constitution allowed the military to, 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 to do so, to take power from civilian governments uh, in what they perceive as uh, the state of emergency that describe or affect national solidarity or unity. Oh. And it carried out in response to uh, what, what they perceive as a border fraud. Mm. Uh, and the military promised that they will organize uh, a free and fair election mm -hmm. after the state of emergency mm -hmm. uh, is over. Mm -hmm. So it brings a bell. So well, <laughs> well, you, you could say that, <laughs> no. but um, we're also, um, you know, witnessing um, the effect of that um, coup mm. spilling over the borders. Yes, right. Uh, and uh, the coup was led by uh, Army Chief Min Ong Lai, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, uh, the the military plays a very important role in, in Myanmar politics mm -hmm. because uh, it ruled Myanmar directly for nearly fifty years, mm -hmm. and. Uh, after the first, after the coup in, in, in 1962, and it had long seen itself as the guardian of national unity. Mm. And you know, uh, the, it was the architect, I mean, uh, the military is the architect of mm. the constitution in, in, 2000, in 2008. Mm -hmm. the, the army gets mm -hmm. an unelected quota of 25% of parliamentary seats, and its chief can appoint some minister. So it plays a very huge role in, in, in their politics and it is a sort of awkward power sharing arrangement mm. with, with the NLD. Mm. And you know, after the, the, the putsch took place mm. last week, right, and it sparked local resistance and drawn global condemnation from the US and other democracy. All of them are calling for uh, the restoration to democratic rule. Yes. Um, well, when you mention um, an awkward power sharing, um, uh, well, I couldn't agree more. But um, uh, it's also, you know, interesting to note mm. that um, even though you really are not, um, you know, into the, the army, you still have to keep them on your side. Mm. And the army too, right? We need an elected government, right, to keep um, uh, the affair of the state mm. um, going. Because um, it's like um, you need that evil that you think, mm. you know, it, it, not something you're particularly fond of, but mm. you can't get rid of. So um, it is that power sharing that has been, you know, that has reached, um, you know, a boiling point. Because mm. um, they must have had events, you know, leading up to that coup on February 1st, mm. right, that, um, you know, caused the government, not the government, the uh, military, to feel that it had had enough and mm. um, uh, power revolt uh, mm. you know, has to take place. So that's exactly what mm. happened. And the accusation went that um, the, um, there was an up rampant vote fraud um, in the um, election in November last year. Yes. And so um, it is, the, the army has accused um, an elected government of um, cheating Yes, electro and cheating. Poor officials, but but poor co officials dispute this allegation. Of course, it would, and um, the poll um, and the, the the Burmese version of um, you know election commission, yes. right, um, have, has come out to say that um, you know well, it is the, the commission is run by um, mm. the, the government of Aung San Suu Kyi, so um, in uh, by saying that uh, you know a word fraud had taken place. Mm -hmm is really uh, taking you know, a hard hit at the mm. credential and reputation of mm. Aung San Suu Kyi. It's like um, you know, pointing finger mm. at Aung San Suu Kyi and saying, you cheated the, the vote in order to um, you know, want to stay in power. Mm, mm, mm. But um, the poll result you know, you know, says otherwise because 
there had been what a, a, an 18 plus percent yes. of, of the win yes. w- that was cleansed by um, the NLD, the National League for Democracy Party, of, led by Aung San Suu Kyi. So it was an overwhelming mm. and um, you know um, triumph on on mm. the part of uh, of the NLD. But I uh, just couldn't help but wonder if you know um, if there was any evidence of the alleged vote fraud. Mm. If there had been, um, then we're still waiting to see it. Yes. Not, you know, only people in Myanmar, but yeah. people outside of yes. that country, we're still looking in, right? Why is that evidence that you have talked about so much? Because as far as we know, we have seen, but what, what is clear, what, what is clear is that we have seen uh, the spill longer mm. effect on, on Thailand. Yes, because definitely. Right after the, the, the coup was staged, uh, mm-hmm. Myanmar citizen yes. and, and Thai protester came out in front of uh, the, the Myanmar embassy. Right? Yes. And on, on Sunday, the Myanmar citizens uh, gathered outside the UN office. And, so, uh, however, what, what, what is uh, the government reaction to? To the spillover, mm. yeah. Uh, the deputy prime minister, uh, Pravit, he said that Pravit it was Bong Suwan, yes, yes. Pravit Bong Suwan, He said that it was uh, internal affairs, mm. and then uh, prime minister Prayut Chan O Cha, he he said that uh, he he played out, and he he said that uh, we he reiterate uh, the collective stand of of ASEAN, mm. and that is uh, we are not going to to meddle in their domestic affairs. Mm. And it, it was soon followed by uh, Army Chief General uh, Narong Khan Jit Gao Tad. He insists on maintaining ASEAN uh, principle of non-interference. Right. And he said that uh, the idea of uh, staging coup in, in Thailand never crossed his mind. Mm. So they, well, they played out. Well, they did. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the army did yes. stage a coup. But... Um, it's been, um, um, you know, since um, May um, um, 2014, mm-hmm. um, cool, um, have we go- come a long way since then? Mm-hmm. Um, I think in a, wor- in, mm-hmm. in a sense, mm-hmm. we, we, we have come, um, you know, a certain distance. Mm-hmm. And um, it is also, um, you know, something that we have to bear in mind, mm-hmm. right? That um, the difference between the coup in Myanmar and the coup back in 2014 in Thailand, mm, mm. Um, uh, it, the pretext now, we're talking now, mm. um, is quite different mm. because um, this is a coup that has been you know, freshly um, mm. um, staged uh, only what, um, um, uh, since February 1st. Mm, mm. And um, it's been you know, barely you know, um, two weeks. Mm. And, and so um, military in Myanmar, the, the army, um, you know, must have taken a leave out of um, mm. the old military book, mm. right? Um, back to um, um, what um, two or three decades ago mm. um, in that country. So um, the pretext is different. Mm. We staged the coup seven years ago, and we have now had an election, mm. right, in 2019, in uh, March 24, 2019, and. So we are now um, in, a, you know, have a government mm. that passed through that election. Mm, mm. Whereas in Myanmar, mm. right? I mean, the game is only starting, mm. and uh, the people are frustrated because they have absolutely no idea where mm. um, the country, where the, you know, the direction the country is heading. Mm. And as you know, we all know that you know once they get a taste of democracy, mm. there's no turning back. Mm. Right? There's no turning back to what they describe as the you know the dark age, mm-hmm. right? When everything uh, had to go through the army, the army had a final say on everything. So um, you know, as far as um, running you know the national policy was concerned. Mm. So in this particular sense, I think a lot of problems have, 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 have are going to have to be dealt with. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, Myanmar, the people of Myanmar, are not going to stand, right? They're, they're, um, they're you know, against the, the kind of freedom that they had and now seem to be, you know, um, slipping away from, from mm. their fingers. 
So they're going to hold on to that as hard as they possibly can, mm. and they're going to put up a fight. So um, that's the concern that has been, you know, raised by a lot of experts, mm. because you know you have to, you know, um, look at the fact to know that um, the the uh, senior general Min Ong Lai has been accused of genocide in relation to um, his um, yeah, um, his policy mm. um, towards the um, the the Rohingya people in the Rakhine state. Mm. So um, that has put a huge dent mm. on his image, on his reputation, on the way that he's handled the you know the the military affair and and and, and the brutality and the, mm. the, the oppression. The thing here is, um, when, you, when you talk about that, um, it means that the general doesn't seem to have anything to lose. Mm. He doesn't um, seem to, to have to care mm. about what um, the other people, particularly countries in the West, think about him. Mm. You think about his government, um, the overthrow of an elected government, mm -hmm. right? So um, um, he's maybe, maybe. Um, he might have to resort to some kind of, you know, heavy-handed handling mm -hmm. of the people of the of the resistant movement that mm -hmm. has, you know, been mounted against his government. Mm -hmm. And so, um, and 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 also, if there is so much pressure from mm -hmm. outside, then um, the way out of it, mm -hmm. the pressure valve. The way to open that pressure valve, mm -hmm. politically, politically speaking, is to turn to um, you know the big brother, mm. um, right to the north, China, mm -hmm. right? um, mm -hmm. and it's going to push Burma towards um, uh, an the even audience. stronger alliance mm -hmm. with China. Mm -hmm. And you have to also remember that China is invested heavily in mm -hmm. in in, in, um, in Myanmar. Mm -hmm. So um, the Thai is only, is only going to get uh, you know a lot stronger rather than weaker, I think, in the coming months and years. If you know this um, government, a military government, prolongs its grip on power, mm -hmm. so um, I just you know take a guess. So um, here in Thailand, though. You know, because this is what we know mm. about Burma, what um, the spillover effect on, on Thai, um, you know, in Thailand. You mentioned that, um, um, I think we, we've covered a lot of, of news about um, the protest. resistance, yes. the participation of the um, Myanmar protest um, outside the, the, the Myanmar embassy, right? Um, the anti government um, members um, were there. Um, mingling and you know, taking part in that protest mm. and uh, just uh, because uh, Myanmar citizens when, when they protest against mm. uh, the military they use they, they bang on pots and pans right and so this become the sort of symbol yes and today this evening uh, they are going to I mean Thai protesters are going to to gather for the first time since, Since the, the new start, year, right? Start of this year mm. at uh, MBK Center, and they are going to use pan and pots to, <laughs> to you know, to protest beating the pots, against, the pots and uh, pans against what they perceive as dictators. Yes, um, I think um, as you mentioned, um, um, the, the, the anti-government protesters in Thailand and Myanmar share, you know, they have a lot in common. Yes, right, but um, the the. You know, one thing, you know, symbolism is something that they share. Mm. And they're certainly going to use the same kind of, um, you know, tactic yes. in making their voices heard. And this is literally the way of making your, your, your case heard mm. by, mm. by banging the pots and pans. To drive away evil spirits. Yes, um, the mm. belief goes that, mm. you know, if you do that, you're going to drive away this evil spirit mm. and anything that dwells mm. in, the, in the homes, mm. even, you know, the... The, the government, but here um, is it something that we're going to see, right? Is it going to be long something long term, or is it going to be short lived, mm. or is this protest in Thailand mm. that is you know some, that is emulating the tactic of the mm. Myanmar protesters? Mm. Are these Tha the Thai you know protester the Thai anti government movement going to be 
you know, carrying on, mm. uh, do they still have the the ammunition or mm -hmm. the the cause or the justification to mm. hold or renew that protest? You know, for the long haul. I don't know about you, but mm. um, from the way I see it, is mm. um, um, I'm still wondering though mm. whether they're going to stick to their um, you know um, demands. Mm. Remember last year they demanded you know three things, mm. right? Resignation of General Brigitte. Charter rewrite. Charter rewrite and mm. monarchy reform. Monarchy reform. Mm. We've got three, um, you know, um, demands, key mm. demands. Mm. But as the time went, mm. two demands mm. appear to have come and gone. Uh, mm. We've got we're left with only you know one demand that they um, mm. that they have you know mm. um, spoken very very strongly about. Mm. And towards the end of last year. Mm. They sort of paled into, you know, oblivion. This protest, and then, but they're about to come mm, back, and mm. they have come back. They're coming back today because they are facing uh, several lawsuits and charges, including the the Lace Majesty charge. Yes. The thing about this is, um, are they going to be? How are they going to be able to balance between um, using the um, the mm. case of the Myanmar protesters mm. to lend any power to the local the local protest movement? Mm, mm, Is there mm, going mm. to be um, any kind of um, you know similarity that mm. could you know galvanize the Thai protesters um, enough to sustain mm. you know um, their protest here? But but it is possible because. Uh, the ruling Kalang Basharat Party mm. and some senators, I mean, they uh, will seek a court ruling yes. on the constitutional amendment process. I mean, there is the sort of an attempt to, to amend section 256 of the charter to pave the way for the creation of the charter drafting assembly. Mm. And because Right now, the constitution in, in, in Thailand and Myanmar, it can be argued that they are the, the, way, the way by which uh, the, the military can cling to power. So this might be another factor that, yes. that gives impetus to, to, to Thai protesters to, to come out. Definitely, definitely. The army chief, Minong Lai, he just addressed the television. Yes. And he said that he insists that this is uh, they, this is democracy, and they they are going to to welcome foreign visitors. Mm -hmm. And this kind of environment will will be different from previous military rule. Are they this going is what to what from his are they going to take the leave out mm. of the end, you know, National Council for Peace and <laughs> Order's book? I mean, I mean. Um, if you stage a coup, I do not believe mm. for a single moment mm. that if you are set, you, you know, you set out to um, to, to engineer a coup, you've got to do it, you know, uh, mm. on impulse. Mm, mm, mm. You must have planned it, mm. and not overnight, but mm. you know, you must have planned it for quite some time. Mm. So um, you must have anticipated what would become of the country, mm. or even the fate of the military itself mm. for staging the coup, because there's. Once you've staged the coup, there's um, there's no point of return. You just have to you know, soldier on and and, mm. and 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 keep going, mm. right? Um, mm. There's no turning back. So they must have anticipated mm. the consequence, and they have to, you know, find mm. solution to the problems that are bound to occur. Mm. So um, in this particular case, if you're talking about the Myanmar government, mm. are they going to walk the path? That the NCPO has walked, it's possible, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. um, resorting to um, you know um, a populist um, approach mm -hmm. in order to um, you know change a lot of people's minds mm -hmm. about the, the coup and get them on your side. Mm -hmm. And when you know the time comes, mm -hmm. they, then you arrange for you arrange mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. an, an election. Mm -hmm. Uh, so the election, mm. you know, mm. uh, the, the critics have said, uh, acts like, mm. um, um, you know, um, the soap that scrubs away mm. any tinge, any, you know, um, um, stain mm. of dictatorship that is, you know, that, that is on your clothes. Mm. But um, I think one's a coup maker, always a coup maker, right? Um, but if you um, 
act actually go about and you know run the country, the business of the, the you know the state affair in a way that would benefit the people, then you know um, it's certainly a way of uh, reducing resistance. Mm -hmm. So is General Min Lai going to be doing that? We really don't know. But critics said that uh, so once I mean before the state of emergency is over. I mean, what, what, what the army chief is going to do is to prepare all kind of policy and mechanisms to ensure that he will, he might, he will win in, in, in the next election to, to cling to power. Yes, but um, judging from the, the mm. number of um, you know, turnout mm. of the people you know, who have poured mm. uh, onto the streets mm. in Yangon and other key cities mm. um, that we have witnessed in the past mm. several days, it's certainly, um, you know, um, you, can, you get a taste of things to come, right? Mm, mm, mm. Um, if an election is going to be held um, next year, mm. um, there's no telling at all whether the, um, the government party is going to be defeated again or not. It was defeated. Mm. It put on quite, um, you know, um, um, you know, it, it was quite, you know, a disappointment. Mm. The the poll result in November last mm. year. Um, the thing is, the the an election, right, is something that people, you know, always wanted. But the result can always be overturned. Mm, 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 mm. So um, an election is not a solution. Uh -huh. It's not a solution. I think it's it's going to be, you know, um, you know, if you look at this, you know, optimistically, there's going to be power sharing again. Mm. We're going to end up um, <laughs> coming back, going, completing the loop, going back to the to the, to the point where, where we left off. So like like Thailand, I mean, since uh, 1932, mm -hmm. uh, we have seen coups every four years and since then we have seen a total of more than 20 coups making i think <laughs> <laughs> mm. so um how you know we are not really the, the possibly the most skilled mm. people um to just um, pacify and, and and share the power right so um that's probably one of the problems mm. that have occurred in this country that um that have held us back in my opinion. Mm -hmm. I think the root is, can we say that we, we don't believe in democracy? <laughs> I, I mean, uh, because through an election, citizens mm. give, give power in their hand to, to their representative in order to, to run, to manage the country. Mm. But with the advent of uh, coups, they take power from, from our own hand. Mm. And it's like in in uh, in Greek and Roman drama. There is mm. what what is called this egg machina. When you know on on uh, on the stage, there is the kind of god. Mm. They enter the scene in order to provide a solution to to an insoluble difficulty. Mm. And with that, they can resolve every conflict. Mm -hmm. So I think I, di I think this can be an analogy to mm. to coup making. We don't believe in mm. in the power of of citizen. So um, it's important um, that we have a system in place, and this system has to keep those in power, you know, um, in check. It is a way of um, you know checks and balance. How the checks and balance work. Um, because we see that um, when we get, um, you know, every time there is a coup, mm. that system is gone. Mm. That system is overridden. Mm. That system is somehow inactivated. Mm. And, you know, um, and, 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 and we write a new set of rules, mm. right, for the system. So we get a um, new system. Again and again. The kind of check and balance that really worked you know, only in name, but not in practice. Mm. So, um, to me, democracy here that, that we talk about so much, and and 
I really don't know, um, you know, how to describe it. Mm-hmm. Right? Um, we kind of associate a democracy with free speech, but mm-hmm. then free speech is governed by what we call law, right? Mm. You, you can't free speech, you mm. can't do a free speech that offends other people. Mm. Then you get slapped mm. with, mm. you get served with, you know, defamation and mm. charge mm. Um, notice from the court. Um, that kind of thing. So um, democracy has its limits. You mm. have to appreciate, you have to recognize the fact that it has its own limits. Mm. And democracy may not be the best form of government, mm. but it is now possibly at the better of many evils that we have mm. outside. Mm. The, the army, the Myanmar army, how it is going to um, handle the situation, mm. this mass protest, the mass resistance that is you know, brewing up, that is taking to the street. And you know, um, it is something that they might have something in store. Mm-hmm. Or, you know, I've heard of, you know, some lecturers, um, political scientists, um, speculating that um, the Myanmar army is going to be forced to throw the towel and give up the power. But um, I think it's, it's a bit too soon to say that because, um, they, you know, they, they, they risk. They, they, have to, they have endured, they have taken risky, mm. you know, um, action to stage the coup. Mm. So they're not going to give it up, the power, easily, right? And, and, and how they, you know, carry on, mm. because they promise a year, right, in transition. Mm. Is that transition going to hold? Are they going to get there? And are they going to sing a song like, like, like us? <laughs> The song. When you will do as we promise. <laughs> right. <laughs> so um, mm. so um, we we'll see how it goes, and um, and that's it for today's edition. Mm. And I hope you enjoy the show. And we certainly did. And um, if you like us, um, you want to subscribe to us, or you just want to comment, please do not hesitate to do that. And um, we do look forward to to seeing you again in our next segment.